मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर लर्निंग इंग्लिश लिटरेचर पार्ट एंड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर देर इज अ प्रोज दिस प्रोज एंटाइटल्ड एज लुम्बर रूम दिस स्टोरी लुम्बर रूम इज रिटर्न बाय हेक्टर ह्यूज मनरो हेक्टर ह्यूज मनरो इज बेटर नोन एज स्पेन नेम साकी He is a British writer, and he is known for his witty, mischievous, and somewhat satirical writing. Hector Hughes Munro was born on 18 December 1870, and he was died on 14 November 1916. His nickname as H H Munro. or saki he is known for his literary works the open window and the interlopers the present story the lumber room is about a boy nicolas nicolas the boy in the story is known for his stubbornness he doesn't want to change himself or he doesn't want to listen any elderly person the present story tells us that we should have to follow the orders of elderly people again this story is indication of the quality of that of the young people or the teenagers that of stubbornness or firmness or that of determination the writer wants to say that a person should have to be determined he should have stubborn quality is no doubt about that but he should have to listen or he should have to accept the orders of elderly people now what is mean by lumber room look at this picture this picture represents as a lumber room previously in british countryside these rooms are made for keeping that of wooden furniture so lumber room is a room where the wooden furniture is kept look at this picture we see that this boy is reading some of the story books or reading a book over there paintings are there or some other objectives are kept like a night lamp is there box is also there some paintings are there books are there so these all contain in that of the lumber room and the writer wants to take the reference of this room to continue his story now we will move towards the story that is a prose lumber room now see the story the children were to be driven as a special treat to the sands of jackrow now here it is referred that the children are allowed to go for a special treat where are they going they are going at jackrow Nicholas was not allowed as he was in disgrace the boy or the protagonist of the story nicholas is not allowed there to go for the picnic or to go for the special treat because he was in disgrace he was not happy only that morning he had refused to eat his wholesome bread and milk on the grounds that there was a frog in it what was the reason behind his unhappiness why was he why was he in disgrace he was he, he was in disgrace because in the morning he didn't eat his breakfast he didn't eat his breakfast because he told that there was a frog in his bread or that of milk older wiser and better people had told him that he was not to talk nonsense see this line is very important or we can say this line gives the message or the value of that of the story what does the story want to convey now here older wiser and better people had told him that he was not to talk nonsense every every elderly person or wiser person is guiding to that of the young people or teenagers that you should not talk nonsense same thing is told by the older or elderly people to adopt nicolas you should not talk any nonsense things like 
there is a frog in the ditch or there is a frog in that of the wholesome bread or milk the dramatic part of the incident was that there really was a frog in nicolas basin of bread and milk yes the more important part is that there is a really the frog is found in the nicolas basin of bread and milk he had put it there himself and proved the older wiser and better people wrong see what does he want to prove he wants to make them fool he wants to make them wrong he wants to make them somewhat humiliate by proving that he they are telling lie when he is saying that there is a frog in the dish or there is a frog in his food wiser or the elderly people are saying how it happened to prove that he himself kept the frog in the dish and now saying that hey, i am not happy because i didn't have the breakfast because there is a frog in my dish then so the aunt had hastily invented the jog roti now aunt is actually elder person she represents a wiser group of the people she represents elderly person and what does she do she purposely invented she purposely found that of the jog roti because she wants to again prove that nicolas should have to follow her orders whenever one of the children fail from grace the aunt planned something of a festival nature for the children from which the offender would be debarred now what does she do she often did one thing whenever such problem occurred whenever a person or the young child becomes so disgraced so unhappy or so disobedient she used to just arrange a trip to teach a lesson to such children now same trick she played and she arranged a trip for the jagro garden there and she stopped the offender who is offender here offender is nicolas because he didn't follow the order of elderly person one thing and he wanted or he tried to make them fool by telling there is a frog in the dish and so he tried to prove himself in disgrace now nicolas is offender so he was debarred debarred means here not allowed he was not allowed to go anywhere because he committed a mistake after the children left for jagro the aunt told nicolas that he was not to go into the gooseberry garden now as her plan was there to teach lesson to nicolas she announced that see nicolas now you committed a mistake you should not go for gooseberry garden you should have to stay here only because you disobeyed me or you didn't have the breakfast you didn't just follow me and due to that you should not go to that dog bro garden now nicolas said why not demanded nicolas now see the language here the writer really peeps into the hearts or minds of that of the teenagers teenagers are very immediately quickly reacting towards the orders of the elderly people here the same thing is there as soon as that aunt asked why are you doing so so he immediately just replied to that of aunt why not why i am not going with that of the other people and it shows that this nicolas very rigid very constant a determined boy who doesn't want to follow the orders of elderly persons so this is story or we can say the beginning of the story that you understood that he what is the intention of that of the writer actor huge munro to convey about so we shall stop here next part we'll see in the coming period thank you thank you very much